Hi everyone, my name is Frank Westfall and in this video I will show you how to configure a shared network folder on Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11. So first we're going to create a folder in a location. In this particular example I have a drive that's dedicated for data storage and I want to put a folder on here and I want to make it available to the other computers on my network. So I can drop data into this particular folder on this particular computer whenever I want from any computer on my network. First I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call this one Network Share. Then right click it and go to Properties, go to the Sharing tab, go to Advanced Sharing, enable Share This Folder, go to Permissions. So by default when you share a folder everyone has permissions. I don't like doing this. I want to limit the permissions to only the exact users who are able to access this folder. And in this case I'm the only user who's going to be able to access this folder. So I want to remove this and I'm going to add only me. There's my username and I'm going to give myself full control over this folder. And then hit apply. Next I also want to configure the NTFS permissions. The permissions that I just configured are called share permissions. Under the security tab are what's called NTFS permissions. And the way it works is that whichever one of these is more restrictive will take effect. So if the permissions allow you to connect via share but they don't allow you to connect in NTFS permissions, you won't be able to connect. If they don't allow you to connect in share permissions but they do allow you in NTFS, you won't be able to connect. Whichever one is the more restrictive of the two will take precedent. I like to have these aligned so that I'm allowing only the users that I want to connect in my share permissions and only the users that I want to connect in my NTFS permissions. So under the security tab these are NTFS permissions. So here I'm going to add my username, check names, desktop one slash Frank, backslash Frank. And here I want to give myself full control as well. So I have a remote desktop connection to the computer that I created this share on. So now I'm going to disconnect the remote desktop connection and I'm going to actually connect to this share that I just created and then put some data in there. And this is how I want to be able to use it on my network. I want a central location where I can drop my data into from any computer on the network. So I'll close this out. Disconnect my remote session. So now I'm actually on a computer in another room and I'm going to go to that share and put some data in there. You can do that by opening a file explorer and then you want to type backslash backslash and then the computer name that that share exists on. The computer that I just created that share on is called desktop one. Now it's going to show me the resources on desktop one that have been shared and in this case I had a, a previous shared folder and then the one I just created and I can click it and go into it because I gave myself permissions to be able to do so in share permissions and NTFS permissions and now because I have full control over these folders I can create data in there for example a new text document test put some data in there test and then save it and there it is now as long as I log in as myself I could connect to this share folder from any computer on the network. So now that we have this share created we can also map this as a network drive which will make it show up under this PC as if it were a drive. A map network drive is basically just a shortcut 
to a folder that is shared out on the network. So if I go back to the shared folder and right click it, go to show more options, that's in Windows 11. Map Network Drive is one of the drop downs in Windows 10, 7, and 8 by default. Map Network Drive. And then just give it a drive letter. Try to start with like G or below. But you can technically use any except C. It shows you all of the ones that are available. I'm just going to use Z. And I want it to reconnect automatically at sign in. That means it's going to remember my credentials in Windows Credential Manager. Now I have a map network drive that is the same shared folder that I created. So now I can access it this way, or I can also just go directly to it. And there's the share. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more computer systems tutorials videos on Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11. Bye.